Hello mates, I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm gonna to be scouring TikTok and reacting to various people's red flag tattoos. I have previously talked about red flag tattoos before on this channel. I've reacted to a Buzzfeed article on red flag tattoos. So if you haven't checked that out before, go and check that out once this video is finished. My personal red flags are like the obvious ones, like anything that's like prejudice, whether that be racist or homophobic, transphobic, or like supremacist. I also really hate the black and gray sleeves though that every fuck boy seems to have that consists of like, a pocket watch, some roses that look more like cabbages, um, praying hands, a lion's head, that shit can absolutely get in the bin. Also, whilst we're there chucking like biomechanical tattoos or new school tattoos, I absolutely hate that shit. It gives me an absolute ick. So, without further ado, let's get into it. What's a tattoo red flag? Tribal. Oh fuck yeah, it is a hundred percent. I agree. Just to be clear, I'm assuming this dude is talking about like ninety star tribal and it being on a white dude that for sure got it because it was a trend at the time. One hundred percent, I am with you, my brother. Fuck nineties tribal. What's your tattoo red flag? Forest half sleeves. Yeah, this is one that I've spoken about in other videos on this channel, like the Pinterest forest half sleeve that was on the lower part of the arm. These were absolutely everywhere for a while. It's a cool idea, but it was absolutely overdone to death. And now it's just one of those that like, I have no creativity tattoos, unfortunately. It deserved better because it was a really cool idea, but nah, I get why this person would say it's a red flag tattoo. What's a tattoo red flag? Um, Any animal that is in black and gray, but has a blue eye. Another one that I've spoken about in my most overdone tattoos video, just another white man copy and paste tattoo, another trend tattoo that feels like it is slowly dying down now and hopefully it is dying for good. Again, it's a cool idea, but it's become such a fuckboy tattoo now. Tattoo red flag. When somebody only has their hands and their neck tattooed and no other tattoos. This is something that I talked about a little bit in my tattoo gatekeeping video. A lot of tattoo artists do hold the belief that you should be heavily tattooed and not have any other spaces available before you go and you get your neck and your hands tattooed. And this is a red flag for a lot of tattoo artists. I am inclined to agree. I'm also of the mindset that you don't get a job stopper tattoo until you don't really have any other spaces left. Just my opinion, sue me. What's your tattoo red flag? Um, people that don't know which is right side up. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how people don't understand how this one works. Like, if you're wearing a t-shirt and the print faces you, you would say that's upside down, right? It's the same rule with tattoos. Like, if you get a tattoo with some script that's facing you on your wrist, guess what? It's upside down. Think, people, please. Tattoo red flag. Um, most Pinterest tattoos. Yeah, Pinterest should not be treated as this, like, holy bible of tattoo ideas. It's okay for inspiration, but... As this person suggests, just getting like a copy and paste design from there, it can be a red flag. A good tattoo artist who's worth their salt should always want to redraw an idea. It's fine for you to say, look, this is my inspiration, but they should then redraw you something custom from that inspiration. It's your tattoo red flag. Mm, really bad hand poke tattoos. Yeah, stay away from letting people like hand poke anything on you if they're not a trained tattoo artist. There's a lot of hand poking at parties or even artists who are working out of tattoo shops offering these that have no business tattooing anybody. There are plenty of really good machine free tattoo artists out there who will give you a banging hand poke tattoo. Just make sure you go to one of them. Tattoo red flag. Ass toppers. I've literally never heard anybody refer to a lower back tattoo or a uh, tramp stamp as an arse topper. I mean, this one was way overdone for a while. You don't really see many people getting them anymore, though. Bring back the arse topper. Um, if they have any type of, like, adult cartoon character tattooed on them, like, like anything from Adult Swim. Like, no, grow the fuck up. Why did you get that? Maybe this one has just, like, gone straight over my head, but, like... I'm not really 100% sure why this would be like a red flag. Like if you have a Rick and Morty tattoo, is that a red flag? Why? Can someone please explain to me in the comments why this one would be a red flag because I genuinely don't know. Or like if they have those fucking trees, you know, you know the trees, the trees. 
You were on Tumblr far too much. Yeah, we already covered this one earlier. Was it like a Tumblr thing then? I never really did Tumblr. I do remember this tattoo design being posted all over Pinterest though. It seems to have calmed down now, fortunately, and you do see less tree men walking around. Or like the doves, like the, the fluttering, like anything of that nature. Canceled, canceled, red flag, red flag, red flag. I guess she's referring to like doves like going up behind the ear and onto the neck. That was another one that you used to see all the time a few years ago. Another design that must have been like really popular on Pinterest, I guess. Again, you don't see that one as much anymore. Remember when everyone used to get the tattoos behind their ears? That's not something you like see a lot anymore. I wasn't a big fan of that. What's a tattoo red flag for you? So if you see someone with this type of tattoo? Yeah. Any, any Tim Burton tattoos, any Jack Skellington tattoo, do not talk to me. I know. This is another one that came up in my previous red flag tattoos video. I don't get why people are so against Nightmare Before Christmas tattoos. Like, it's not my favorite movie, but I do think it is a great movie with a bunch of really iconic characters in it. Why is it such a red flag for people to get a Nightmare Before Christmas tattoo? Please tell me because I don't understand. Fucking fun police. I feel bad for saying this, but I don't like the hourglass lion roses combo. The super black and gray. I don't, I don't like it. And if a boy has it, I'm like, no, you're annoying. <laughs> That's just me, but mostly Tim Burton tattoos now. I'm with you on this. This one has been done to death and we just need to let the corpse rest now. Like it's done, people. Just move on. There are other tattoo ideas out there. This person needs to leave Tim Burton alone, though. I'm not even a big Tim Burton fan, but he doesn't deserve this much hate. Anyone that has their own name tattooed on him is likely that person to ask you a question only so they can make the entire thing about themselves and talk about them the entire time. Oh, uh, literally, who gets their own name tattooed on them? What, are you gonna forget? Because I wish that I could forget. I wish that I could forget ever seeing anyone who has this fucking stupid tattoo idea on them. Who was the first moron to do this shit? Because they need fucking head button. If they have an American flag tattooed on their body, it's typically never small, unlike something else. And nine times out of ten, they're not trying to be patriotic, they're a bro vet. And if you don't know what a bro vet is, that's someone who served in the military and they desperately need you to know that they served in the military. So they get the flag on them so that you'll ask. Losers. <laughs> yeah, this is another one that came up in my previous Red Flags Tattoos video. Funny enough, living in the UK, this is not one that I've seen whilst I've been walking around in everyday life, nor have I actually really seen people with Union Jack tattoos either. I do get where this guy is coming from. It can come across as like small dick energy if a guy is constantly like, yeah, I was in the military, I've killed people, therefore my cock is huge, you know? Make love, not all. They have a tattoo of like a movie logo on their body, run. It's typically gonna be like a super niche movie that only they're gonna enjoy and that's gonna be like a large part of their personality. It's not a good thing. I think we have to live and let live with this one. So what if somebody has a tattoo of like an obscure movie logo on them? So what if that makes up a lot of their personality? It's not hurting you, is it? If they have a blackout somewhere, they're hiding something. That's suspicious. Why didn't you just get a normal cover up? Weirdo. This is another one that I've seen people saying a lot is a red flag. Why are people so suspicious of this one? Maybe someone couldn't get like a normal cover up because their tattoo was so dark or there was like scarring there. Or maybe they just like how blackout looks. There are people out there who actually just really like how blackout looks and choose to get it because they like it, not as a cover up. I personally think that this can look so sick, especially when it's done well. And if they get like white ink over the top with like a design in white ink over the top that can look really really sick like the clock and the, the rose sleeve, sleeve with the lion yeah, don't talk to with the big line it black was... and white line someone else who agrees with me here i hope you're watching this fuck boys who are thinking of getting this tattoo it's a red flag anyone with dice on their body kind of suck in my opinion why why does anyone with the dice tattoo suck do tell Nonsense, mate. Only God could judge me? No, no, I will also judge you if you get this tattoo. Tell me if this is true for you too in the comments below. But everyone I know who has this tattoo, number one, they're not actually religious. 
and two, they are a terrible, terrible human being who has evidently gotten this tattoo to try and excuse just how much they suck. I think we'll leave it there for today. So that is it. Those are my reaction to TikTok's red flag tattoos. Do you agree or disagree with my takes here? Please let me know in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, give it a like and hit the subscribe button and all that other YouTube bollocks. If you like the music that you're hearing in the background, it was actually all produced by me. I have another channel where I post beats slash instrumentals that I've made for singers to use to write songs to. So if that is something you are interested in, I'll put a link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.